Welcome back. This is my fourth transporter tutorial and my third transporter effect. At the request of one of my friends, I'm going to try to slow it down just a little bit and explain a little bit more and uh, use that 10 minutes that YouTube gives us. Okay, let's get started. This is the uh, sparkle transport in and happens to be my fiance's favorite effect that I did. Um, and there it is. Just sparkles in. I just have this little light trace that traces around my body. First thing we want to do is we want to make a new compositions composition new composition. I'm going to go ahead and call that sparkles. Um, one of the things on this effect is we need to set up a mask layer that goes around my body. So the way I did that is I actually have a cutout of myself on the couch right there. And then we did that in our first uh, first tutorial. I showed you how to do that. So you go layer new solid name it whatever you want drop it behind our couch layer but keep it selected and you click the pen tool and you come down here and you can use the pen tool to trace around our body just like this and you notice it's only doing it on that black layer and you can try to make it as precise as you can uh, obviously uh, if I was uh, caring terribly much I could make these into more vector things and make them kind of more round shapes so they would uh, fit. And all I'm doing with that is I'm just holding it down as I drag it. So you can see now they uh, has more of a round shape around my thumb. So with that in mind, you create your solid. Like that, you have your mass layer all the way around it and you want to add CCPS Classic to that layer. That's under Effects. Simulation, PS Classic right there. Now we've set our mask layer to add, so what that's going to do is it's only going to show the stars within the shape of my contours of my body right there. We want to bring all the effects down, so we bring the velocity down to 0.25 so there's, they're not, there's not a lot of movement to have any happening here. Birth rate is up to 50, so the stars just kind of pop on really quickly. Longevity is at 0.75, so a little bit sooner than a second is up. I, I want the stars to kind of be fading out. You get you get more of a twinkly effect that way. Um, our gravity is set to 0.5 because I only want them to drift down very slowly. Turbulence is we leave that alone, and max opacity we set that to uh, 54.7. You can kind of play around with it to get the perfect one for you and the birth color, death color to that, and we set it to, up to starlight. Next thing we want to do is add the Vegas effect. Vegas effect, for those people that haven't used it, allows you to animate a line around your mask. Okay. So to do that, you set mask path on for your stroke, and under mask path, you set it to mask one or whatever mask you're trying to animate the stroke around. I set my segments to one. I could set my segments up and you get more of an effect like this. Probably get an idea of why they call it Vegas if you've ever been there now. And we're going to go ahead and set that back down to one though. My length, my rotation, and my width are the only thing that I'm um, actually animating in this one. So let's see what I do with those. My length at zero seconds, my rotation at zero seconds, and my width at zero seconds. I want my length to be zero, rotation to be zero, and width to be one. As I move up to two seconds, I want to change my length to one, my rotation to negative one, and my width to point uh, 1.5. See down there the keyframe for width. And then my last setting is right here at four seconds. I set my length to zero, my rotation to negative two, and my width to two. So basically as it's going around, my length is increasing here. And it starts to decrease past this stage. Also my width from the very beginning gets thicker and thicker and thicker. The rotation, um, it's, it's kind of hard to see, but it, it does actually kind of make it seem like it's rotating around in a circle a little bit. Adds to the effect. The next thing we want to add 
is we want to add our toner effect. Now our toner effect is what's going to make this all kind of look a little bit blue. Just like that. And we just do that by setting the highlights to white, mid-tones to a blue, and the shadows to a black color. And then we blend it. We could uh, add that, but we don't have any blending with the original. We just want it to take effect over everything. And the very last, I'm sorry, toner is under effects. Oh, color correction, CC toner. Then we add our glow right there. That's under effects, stylize, glow. Okay. We just set our glow up like this. So we set it to uh, color channel, glow threshold is 50, radius is 15, intensity is 5. We set it behind so it uh, looks like everything's glowing. Uh, everything in front of it is going to seem like it's glowing out. Um, it blends. Glow operation is add and uh, sets up these. I honestly don't know what some of the stuff does. I uh, kind of figure this stuff out by through trial and error sometimes. So, so I set my glow up like that. The next part of the effect is using um, a sparkle trail. Might be a little bit hard to see, especially when I have the off. But I just have these sparkles that also go around my body and they fade soon. Right. Now the way I did that is I used the CCPS LE Classic. It's under Effects, Simulation, LE Classic. And I set it up pretty similar, exactly like this. Uh, just with a, kind of a small radius. Um, velocity is pretty small. My birth rate is uh, pretty fast. My longevity lasts for about one second. Uh, gravity is set to zero. I just want them to stay in place. So you see how they're not actually moving at all. And my turbulence is set to zero. I don't want them any movement in them. And I set the opacity down just a little bit. And I also set that to starlight. And what I did on this is I actually, um, using my other layer with just my Vegas active, I animated the producer right on top of where the Vegas effect was. Just like that. Let's go ahead and start, get those back up. So then when you have everything together, you have this wonderful little effect right there. Okay, now we go back into our main effect. I drag it in here. So there's my effect there. Now this effect, because you're kind of sparkling like this and everything behind those sparkles is purely transparent, I have the effect leave rather suddenly. So this is a four second effect. Um, I have my body start coming in. The opa I set a keyframe for the opacity at uh, 212. And then at uh, 310, so almost one second later, I have my opacity is at 100% on myself. At that point is when I want to start having my opacity on my sparkle layer go down. So I have it at, I set a keyframe at 100, and then I bring it down to zero at that point. Now, uh, shadows are kind of the bane of doing anything like this, and your eye gets drawn to the shadows, uh, shadows pretty, uh, pretty fast. So you notice like this shadow here by my foot, if you watch right there, was something that I had to be aware of. Uh, this is actually being caused because remember the table is still right here. I've just masked that out and it's also over there. Um, if, you, if you have everything set up right and you don't have to worry too much about the shadows, you could just do all this with one, composite, uh, one uh, background composition layer just like that and you would, uh, you'd be golden. Okay, so there is that effect. Uh, thank you very much, and stay tuned for the next one.